Jerry Jones basically said recently that he expects Ezekiel Elliott to miss some regular season games. So this is quite different than what he said in the past. Because from my understanding, he thought Ezekiel would be there. But how times have changed. In the end, Jerry Jones is going to have to pay Ezekiel Elliott more than what Todd Gurley got paid. It's just as simple as that. If he doesn't do that, Ezekiel Elliott is probably not going to play the entire season. He's probably going to pull a Le'Veon Bell and not show up for all 16 games. I think what Jerry Jones is doing, he's taking a wait and see approach. He's waiting to see how the Cowboys perform versus the Giants and Washington and Miami. So if the Cowboys go 3-0, then he'll probably not pay Zeke. But if the Cowboys go 0-3, then he'll probably give Zeke the top girly money that he wants. Personally, I think Ezekiel Elliott should be paid more than Todd Gurley. So if Jimmy Jones were to pay Ezekiel Elliott, I would say about $47 million, I think Ezekiel Elliott will be okay with that. The problem is, Jimmy Jones reportedly wants to pay Ezekiel Elliott less than Todd Gurley money. So he wants to make Ezekiel the second highest paid running back in the NFL, and Zeke ain't going for that. The reason why I believe Ezekiel Elliott before should get more money than Todd Gurley is because he has outperformed Todd Gurley. When it comes to rushing, he has definitely outperformed Todd Gurley. Also, he is the best player on the Cowboys roster. He is the MVP of that team. Without Ezekiel Elliott, I seriously doubt that the Cowboys will make the playoffs. They're not going to do that. I'd be surprised if they had a 500 record without Zeke if he chose not to play this whole season. So it is important, it is imperative that Jerry Jones gets this deal done. Like I said earlier, Zeke has had a great rushing career so far with the Cowboys. He's at the NFL in rushing two out of his first three seasons. So he is very important to the Cowboys. He is their bell cow at running back. Now they got this guy, Tony Pollard. Yes, he's good, but he's not Ezekiel Elliott. And yeah, he may win a few games for them, but he's not going to do what Zeke is doing. We know what Zeke can do. He's proven. Tony Pollard is not. This is risky. And the longer it takes for them to sign Zeke, I think he's going to get more and more upset. He's going to feel less and less valued that could affect this play on the field too. So the Cowboys should keep that in mind. I think eventually a deal will get done. He will be paid more than Todd Gurley. I just have a feeling about that. That's just my belief. That has not been confirmed because I don't see Zeke coming on the field until he gets that money. And he deserves it. Not only is he running the ball, he's also a receiving threat. He caught, what, over 77 passes last season, if I'm not mistaken? So not only is he catching the ball, he's also running the ball. He also blocks for Dak Prescott. And we know that running backs in the NFL have to protect their quarterbacks all along with the offensive line. That's just the way it works. So Ezekiel Elliott has proven that he deserved that money. And I'm pro player all day. I always support the players when it comes to contract negotiations, as long as they're reasonable with their offers. Because oftentimes, when players underperform, the team wants them to restructure the deal or they get waived or traded. But when a player outperforms his contract, come on now, he should be paid. It's just fair, it's just right. So Ezekiel Elliott has outperformed his current deal. He has. So let's give him a new contract, let him show up and get ready. That would be the best option. Because I don't see any other way around this. I just don't. Pay him the $47 million. I think that's reasonable or whatever he wants. $46, $47 million, I believe is what he wants. Just pay it and just keep it going. Because without Ezekiel Elliott, I don't see the Cowboys going to the Super Bowl. They're not making the playoffs. I'd be surprised if they finished at 500. I'd be surprised if that would happen. But we'll have to wait and see what happens. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Just press the subscribe button below this video and click on the notification bell. That way, when I put out new content, you won't miss out on any of it. Thanks again for watching. 
Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.